Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over lighting in a 3D space in DaVinci Resolve. This has everything you need to get lighting set up and working in your Fusion project. So I'm just going to start by making a basic 3D scene. Do this by adding a render, a merge, and a 3D shape. I use the 3D shape to create a skybox by turning it into a sphere and adding a texture and then just making it super big. Uh, so pretty much what this does is just adds the background. You don't have to do this, it's just something I like to do. Now we're going to add a camera to that 3D merge. And if you select this to display it into the secondary screen, it will pop up. Now I'm just going to adjust the angle a bit. All of this is just set up and doesn't need to be done for lighting to work. But for this we're going to be making a earth in space and we're going to have the sun kind of shine on it and illuminate it just for a basic way to show how lighting works. If you guys want to copy what I'm doing, feel free. I think it's a great way to learn how lighting works. So pretty much what I'm going to do here is just adjust our earth to where we want it to be. And I'm also going to make it spin a little bit just to make it look a little better. So I'm just going to set a keyframe at the start and then go to the end and change the rotation a little bit. And you can see our earth is now spinning. So now let's get into the lighting part of this. So to add lighting, you can go into your effects tab. And from effects, scroll down and find ambient lighting. You'll see ambient lighting, directional lighting, point light, and spotlight. All these do different things. What the ambient, ambient light does is pretty much illuminates the entire scene. So you can just connect that to your 3D merge and you might notice nothing really changes. What you have to do is go into uh, right click on your window, go to 3D options and turn lighting and shadows on. And then also on your media out clip, go to, or sorry, your render out clip, enable lighting and shadows on that as well. And you can see now the image has changed the lighting. So you can play with the lighting by adjusting the intensity. In our case, we're not going to want to use the ambient light. We can, we're going to want to use a spotlight. So I'm just going to switch that to a spotlight here. Um, all the lights are different, and you can play with them to find what works best for you in your situation. So you can go ahead and select your lighting, go to Transform, and from there you can move the light up and down, and you can see it shines on the earth. And if you move it up, it won't shine. Uh, you can see here there's a bit of a glare, so to fix that just go into your shape 3D and go to material, go to specular, and turn the intensity down. You can turn it up if you want, you can adjust all the settings how you want, but we don't want it in this case. So finally to animate the light and get it to shine on the earth, we're just going to adjust our camera to how we want it to be and then go to spotlight. And then all you have to do, just like spinning the earth, is set a keyframe at the beginning and end of the clip. Um, however you want to move it, you can move it. I want kind of a uh, kind of a diagonal movement here. So I'm just gonna bring my timeline back to the beginning, and then go ahead and set all the keyframes I want to set. Uh, you don't have to do all of them. I just do all of them just in case. Maybe I make some movements later. Um, but really you just need the uh, X and Y. And then just have it where you want to start and then go to the end of your clip and drag it to where you want it to end. And that's all you need to do. This is a pretty basic lighting tutorial but I think it shows you how it works and how you can play with it a bit. Um, if you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below. And also thank you guys for all the support. I know I haven't been posting recently but I'm planning on posting a lot more. Um, bringing you guys some some useful tutorials that I don't see on other people's channels uh, Just get away from the basic how to cut and edit and tutorials like that So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one